So index law three is probably the easiest law, but it can also trick a lot of people up. Index law three says that anything raised to the power of zero is always equal to one. And I don't care what that thing is. Could be the number five. Five to the power of zero is equal to one. Seven to the power of zero is equal to one. X to the power of zero is equal to one. Y to the power of zero is equal to one. Anything at all, take a cat and raise it to the power of zero and the answer is going to be one. Now the reason for this is pretty simple and it's uh, related to law two. Now here's an example, x to the 5 divided by x to the 5. Now if using law 2 we try to figure this out, we'll know that x to the 5 minus 5, because you subtract the, top one, the bottom one from the top one. And then that's x to the power of 0. But take a look at the initial question again. It's the same thing, top and bottom. And you guys know that anything, whenever you divide the same thing, top and bottom, the answer will always be equal to 1. So therefore, we've got two competing ideas. x to the 5 divided by x to the 5, according to the second index law, will equal 0. And x to the 5 divided by x to the 5, according to what you've learned about fractions, will equal 1. Therefore, maths is consistent, it's a beautiful thing. Therefore, x to the power of 0, I'll put a little therefore, is equal to 1. That's why it works. Now let's look at some examples of how you'd use it. Here's a very, very quick example, x to the power of 0. What's the answer? 1. Done. Second example, 5 to the x, all to the power of 0. Well, I'm taking something, two things, but at the same time I'm going to raise them to the power of 0. And anything raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Easy. Now this is the one that tricks people up. 5x to the 0. That really says 5 times x to the 0. So 5 times x to the 0, that's 5 times x to the 0. And we know that x to the 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, in this case, the answer is 5. So you need to be very, very careful. Just because you see the number 0 doesn't, doesn't definitely mean the answer is going to be 1. It really depends upon how the question is being asked. Uh, I'm going to throw one more really crazy example at you. So, 7 times 5 to the y to the power of 0. This says that the things in brackets are being raised to the power of 0, and then there's a multiply there, multiply by 7. 7 times 5y to the 0. And we know that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So in this case, the answer is 7. All right, so be very, very careful. Simple idea, but people can get confused and just get too excited and start writing 1s everywhere. You need to stop, think about what the question's doing, and work from there. Working.